Greetings, thank you for joining me today. Quick one for you uh, regarding reels, sponsored reels, more specifically, uh, you know where. Now, I don't mind reels for legitimate things, adverts for legitimate things, that's fine. Um, but when it comes to clear, obvious scams, I'm a little more dubious and I don't know my time wasted. So, they, you know, they, I quickly dismiss them, obviously. However, one I thought I might point out. Now, the one I, what I do like about regular adverts on all the likes of Facebook and so on, is when you get an advert for anything good or bad a legitimate supplier will allow all comments good or bad and respond to the uh, the complaints respond to naysayers in a positive manner and that shows how good that particular trader actually is if now if you have somebody else who doesn't respond to any of the negative comments and just leaves them there as a comment made then you get a little suspicious this one is for soma um it's they're they're peddling this looks like two ashtrays glued together two glass ashtrays glued together you plug it into a, a mains adapter and let it do its thing apparently apparently this is their hogwash sales pitch apparently it, it eliminates electromagnetic fields within your home which seems like a bad idea considering that many uh, circuit boards that drive i don't know everything from your um, cooker right through to your clocks through to your mobile phones it all relies on electromagnetic fields on some level and, oh yes, electromagn electromagnetic fields from the sun pass through our planet all the time, pass through us with no ill effect because we've evolved to deal with it, as if everything else on this planet. So, absolute hogwash. But there it is, and they don't allow you to comment, so here's my comment. It's, uh, now, there are two versions of this advert, both of which irritate me because they point to, but don't list, um, science that backs things up, but they don't say what it's backing up or what the science is. Um, suggesting that electromagnetic fields generate free radicals well surely might do if the electromagnetic field is strong enough but i'd venture that you'd have to be within close proximity i.e within a couple of feet of one of the large uh, transformers that you get you know to deliver the the power to your your region you know and unless you work for one of the local electri electricity boards you're unlikely to come in contact with such electromagnetic fields I mean, those you can feel when you get close. It makes the hairs on your body stand up and you can feel it. It's, it's palpable. But, oh, and I suppose in, um, in CAT scanners, things like that. But other than that, you're not going to feel the electromagnetic fields and they're not going to make you feel tired. Uh, it's incredible. Click through and see for yourself. Three signs your home office is working against you. You might not know this, but it is caused by free radicals and EMF caused by wireless technologies. So... By the way, sitting like that with a laptop on a lap like that is very bad for the posture. Goes without saying, I suppose. Also, probably she needs to turn up the brightness. I've noticed this with a lot of people, you know. But you need your, if you're going to work on a laptop at home, get yourself a monitor, plug it in, get yourself that screen at the right level. So you're not bending all the time. That'll make you feel tired. It really does, trust me. Um, yeah. Wi-Fi, you know. So... Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, microwave, or mobile networks. These EMS can lead to a feeling of constant fatigue, making it hard to concentrate and stay productive. That's what... Now, making it hard to concentrate, that's staying up all night looking at videos. Um, I ain't going to criticise, you know. Um, not getting enough sleep, not eating properly, not getting enough exercise. Um, you know, being nocturnal generally makes you feel tired. But not your electromagnetic fields, I'm sorry. No. And would you want to block them? Would you really want to block them? I think not. I think not. So unless you want a nice ashtray, um, well, ashtray looking thing, something you could use in a fight in your room, I suppose there's never been any harm in that. Is the, it could be a nice doorstop. It's kind of chunky, made of glass. I just think it's just another thing for the cats to knock off a shelf personally, but that's just me. Anyway, um, that's just my thought, just my two pennies. Whatever you do, have a cracking day. See you soon. Bye for now.